Hey you guys, Class Wars Finals is not very far away, and even though I'm only in Warriors Hall uh, this time around, I figured I should probably do some gear upgrades, because Chili Max is going to be there, because he accidentally dropped into <laughs> into um, Warriors Hall, so I'm going to be having a tough time tonight, and I can use all the help I can get. I also have been putting this off for quite some time, I've been hoarding a lot of upgrade materials for my gear, so you see I have almost 1100 of each of the Divine Heart Shards and Divine Soul Shards, and so I only need 300 of those to do each upgrade. I sort of had a moment of like, oh, I don't want to do a video on just one upgrade, so like maybe I'll save for two. And then I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, I want to upgrade the helm and I want to upgrade both pieces of jewelry. But then I felt bad if I only did two upgrades and then like had to leave one of them out. And anyway, so I just ended up procrastinating and deciding to to get enough materials to do all three upgrades uh, so then I don't have to decide which one I have to leave out uh, so here we go I'll do that and then I'll also do a quick tune overview just to show um, you know what I have so far and you know where, where, where I've um, made some improvements uh, in, in recent history so uh, we'll go ahead and do the upgrades first of course so uh, we're gonna be up to date for the overview um, but I'm just wondering if I need to unlock these so give me one second Alright, so I unlock my gear just to, to make sure I can do these upgrades. I'm pretty sure I need to unlock them. But uh, but right now, uh, this guy gives... What does it give? With enchantments. Uh, so the... What's going on? Oh, look, comparing with the wrong one. So the base PDEF and MDEF for the helm uh, previously was 542, and now it's going to be 623. But I think with enchantments, that's going to be a, a nicer bonus. This is also nice because it's one of the few places where, um, gear-wise, actually the only place where I'm going to be uh, gaining MDEF and PDEF evenly. Not completely even since, obviously, mages have a bonus to how much MDEF they get. But uh, just a, a quick peek to, to look at my stats. So with Frigga on, which gives a bonus to my uh, PDEF and MDEF and HP, I have 530,000 or almost 531,000. Uh, so 531 and 744 for the MDEF. So just keep those in mind just so we see how much uh, I gain from this. Upgrade and get the helm. So it's 30 million gold each, which is not bad considering gold's pretty easy these days for me. And there's our upgrade. So that's a, been a long time coming. Uh, so there's the helm. It's already enchanted because I don't um, need to redo those enchantments anymore um, after recent patches. So I'm up to 537, so about uh, six. Uh, uh, actually, more than that but over uh, a 6,000 physical defense gain which is very very nice I'm happy about that and then for MDEF it was 744 so it, uh, it's about 8,000 or so um, MDEF uh, which of course uh, it, I get so much more MDEF because of the bonuses from well any mage is going to get those after a while but um, I think I get a 30% MDEF increase uh, from my knighthood passives. Let's see here. Um, so MDEF increased by 30%. Yeah. So that makes a huge difference. But I'm still very glad. The big one is the physical defense. I really feel like that's hard for me to get right now. And then uh, magical attack is much easier <laughs> to get uh, in, in some ways. But still incredibly important and a priority. So I'm going to go ahead and do each one of these jewels. My M my magical attack is at 804,432. And we can go ahead upgrade. And let's see here. Necklace. Must be one of these seals. Uh, so jewelry, correct. Okay, and the other one is the signet. Okay. So do one of these. Just go take quick peek so now up to 812 so a little less than 8,000 magical attack from from this one piece of jewelry and I think before when I did just the the staff I probably said something I, for, I forget I haven't looked back at the the old video but I probably got like 6,000 or so um, magical attack from uh, from the staff so the the 
the reason why it makes such a huge difference this time around is because of the smelt equipment. So I get a 15% bonus to all of these uh, things from the from the weapon. So the enchantments are much better to this uh, holy leeching signet, and uh, and so I get more magical attack. So after the 15% the bonus, actually the staff is giving much more than, than 8,000 um, attack. So the staff gives a much bigger bonus than, um, than this jewelry. Just categorically, the, the items on the left, this main gear, uh, gives a lot more BR than, than the ones on the right. Um, and then these guys uh, give quite a bit of BR, but they, um, they also cost more materials in general for, you know, forging and whatnot. Okay, and so the last one, where are we? Item upgrade, there we go. Not that. All right, the jewelry and another one. So that upgrade's gonna be the same, but I am up to uh, 819,000, almost 820,000 uh, magical attack, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm very pleased about that. Yeah, some of the top players have way, way more. Um, I think probably the top players are going on well over 900,000 magic um, attack, depending on uh, what class they are. So we can take a look. Player strength. And go cross server. So like Trinity we have here. Trinity's up over uh, a, a million physical attack, which is mortifying. She has, uh, let's see here, oh yeah, level 9 smelt equipment, so that'll do the trick. Let's see here, B um, has over a million, so I'm way behind these people now. So, um, uh, I guess I'm uh, small stuff compared to to these guys. We can go a little lower to, to Rira, so she has um, 938k. Or he, I mean. <laughs> um, so they actually aren't complete. Okay, so is everybody doing this? So some of these people, okay. Um, the the different the difference. Re Ra would actually have over a million uh, magical attack or close to it. Uh, probably if if he did his uh, his tattoos a little bit differently. But um, but yeah, so. You know, I'm falling behind uh, in the scheme of things, but I'm still uh, very pleased about being able to do these upgrades, and uh, and I really should have done them a long time ago. So I think maybe it's easier to do a separate video for, for, for the tune overview, but I will be getting to that, so that's up next. But uh, but just in general, I think that uh, gear upgrades are actually a much bigger deal now because you get a huge bonus from smelt equipment. So even if you do absolutely nothing for your guild, which you should help your guild and at least bless it to help them out, but... Uh, but even if you do absolutely nothing, you can get a few of these smelt equipment levels pretty quickly. Um, so uh, so that's very, very important, and it just amplifies how much these gear upgrades do. Uh, previously, I said that, um, that that gear upgrades are not that big of a deal. It gives, you know, like 6,000 in, in any direction, which is quite a bit, but it's not anything crazy considering how much the, the tattoos give and, and all these other things in the game. Uh, but with the smelt equipment, now that it gives such a huge bonus to everything that you do to your gear, um, everything that involves bettering your gear is now a much bigger deal than it used to be. Um, so that's, uh, that's a factor of, of the, the most recent patch. But, uh, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care, and have a very good day.